everybody, my name is Amy and this is my dog Ulala. Lala and I are members of the President's Choice Super Dogs team. Like many of you, we've got lots of time at home on our hands right now and I thought it would be fun to show you some of Lala's favorite tricks. We're going to start with weave walking. To teach the weave walk, I just need a bit of space for my dog and I'm going to grab some of her favorite treats. To start teaching the weave walk, you're going to have treats in your both hands for your dog. Now first you have to get your dog comfortable with being near your legs. So I'm simply going to have her follow the treat as a lure between my legs. Now with any trick, you want to go slow. You're not expecting your dog to do the full thing right from the get-go. I have treats in both hands for Lala, and you'll notice I'm keeping this treat right on her nose to keep her in position. And my right hand goes behind my leg and lures her through. That means the lure means she's following that treat and lures her through and through. And I'm rewarding every time. For some dogs, they might not be comfortable walking in between your legs, so you'll want to break that down and reward them for each step that they take. Once your dog's more familiar, you can start to turn your lure into a hand signal. It means I'm just, that's Lala's hand signal is I point. Good girl. But I still reward every once in a while. We're not ready to get rid of the reward yet. The next step is you want to give this trick a name. So for Lala's, the command is zig and zag. Zig, zag. So weaving between your legs stationary is how we start this trick. And then the more advanced version is that you walk while you're doing it. This is called weave walking. Dogs love learning new skills, whether it's obedience or whether it's tricks. Remember to always love your dog, play with your dog, and communicate with your dog. Thanks for watching.